Hey, everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today's November 11th. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Taking a look here at the infrared satellite imagery, you can see we've got the cutoff low between the Hawaiian Islands at the bottom left, California to the right. Here's our next trough. It's going to come swooping across the West Coast and North America here. Still a lot of model discrepancy on just how this is going to unfold. I'll show you what I mean here as we go through the video this morning. Taking a look at the low clouds and fog out there, you can see across eastern Washington, Washington, Western Washington, more hit and miss, but there is some of that dense fog across portions of Western Oregon as well. You can see into some of the valley areas also on the GOES-18 satellite imagery. It's just one of the many great tools on the, the GOES-18 satellite. Now, Tempest Home Weather Station, it does a lot of stuff, ambient light, UV index, solar radiation, haptic rain gauge, ultrasonic anemometer, no moving parts, all solar powered. I test two of these at my house and uh, I have a lot of fun with the station and it gives me cool updates on my smartphone. The smartphone app is great and works perfectly with this system. So click on the link down below to save 10% off on that on the weather station. So there's the trough I showed you on the infrared satellite imagery and there's that cutoff flow and you'll see these kind of merge as we go on into the next couple of days and still some big model discrepancy on what is going to happen you can kind of see that the european has a bit of a system riding up across the pacific northwest right there but not all the models have that in the same fashion so i'll show you what that means here more in a moment but then we got another trough potentially swinging through as we go through the end of the week and in towards next week we'll worry about that here over the next few days now precipitation here so a fairly dry day across the region as we go through the day today and, and a nice day as well you might get some mid and high level clouds moving across the area but not much in the way of precipitation however that really starts to change as we go through wednesday night and into thursday the bulk of the precipitation arrives across the region and you can see this potent pressure gradient on the european model and that drags us up and across much of or Oregon and portions of Washington. But again, there's big model disagreement on how that is going to unfold. And then we get another frontal system at the end of the run. But I want to show you some of the winds that this uh, recent European model is showing. You can see some of these gusts across portions of Oregon, even to the Willamette Valley, southwest Oregon coast, straight to Juan de Fuca, onshore flow, the Cascades of Washington, eastern Washington. Big winds would be coming with this system. But I'll show you what the other models are showing starting right now with the North American model. There goes that strong low off the California-Oregon border, but it really does not kick off nearly the same pressure gradient across portions of Oregon and Washington, much less windy solution on the North American model. So we've got that to worry about here. So even... No, we're only what you're talking about 48 hours with the slow pressure system out there it's really not in any kind of model agreement between the north american and the european model and also the artificial intelligence shows the deep low out there and it does show somewhat of a pressure gradient coming across the region with the system moving across alberta there as well but not nearly as strong as what the regular european model is showing and so National Weather Service offices are taking, uh, you know, they're taking this into account. The storm cycle ahead is getting active as we go through Friday 14th through the 19th. This is Missoula National Weather Service specifically, but this goes for places like Spokane, potentially Eastern Oregon and Western Washington and Western Oregon also. So, yeah, and will we stay active? Well, we may as we go on and through late November, but again, no promises on that just yet. Accumulated positive snow depth change in inches. There is a chance for some snow coming across some of the higher terrain here as we go through the day on Friday as well. I just wanted to point that out, especially for the northern Cascades of Washington. That would include some of Stevens Pass, lesser amounts for Snoqualmie and White Pass, comparing that to Stevens Pass. And you can see a nice shot of snowfall as you go through Friday night and on in through Saturday for some of the Rocky Mountains if you're traveling eastbound across Idaho, western Montana there as well. Now, why is that happening? Well, there goes our trough approaching the coastline there, and then we get that cooler air moving in over the area as we go through the day on Friday, and then maybe some more cold air arriving as we go through the early portion of next week. Now, total precipitation in inches. And again, this is going to depend on how the storm system comes in. But as we go through the six-day time period, you can see Seattle getting up over an inch. There's the higher terrain of BC, Washington, Oregon. And not as much eastbound as you can see, but there's some pretty decent amounts flying here across some of the higher terrain of British Columbia, Vancouver Island, the coastal areas as well. So off and on precipitation here as we go on in through this weekend and into the early portion of next week. Now, something fun to look at here for the extended forecast. This is looking at North America, and this is two meter temperature anomaly in Celsius. And you can see as we go through the end of November, we're pretty, you know, we're below normal here across a lot of the West Coast and North America up into Western Canada. 
as we scroll through December, it kind of keeps that below normal signal going all the way out towards the last week right before Christmas. So uh, this is just something you, you just kind of dream about. Maybe we'll get kind of a chilly December with some snow chances. But right now, it, it's just kind of something fun to look at and just purely a fantasy forecast. And if we look out here at 500 millibar heights, I was hoping to see a little bit of a better signal. But right at the end of the run, you can see maybe some above normal heights out over the Gulf of Alaska. Uh, south of the Aleutians is kind of what we need to get that north and northwest flow back down into the Pacific Northwest and bring some cooler air into the region. So a little bit of a hint at that. And, we, you know, we'll be watching this over the next few days, the next couple of weeks, to try to see what is coming in December as well. And, of course, I'll start to get more excited about this once we get into the shorter range and we start to show any kind of cooler weather chances into the region. But right now it's purely a fantasy forecast, entertainment purposes only. This is looking at 46-day precipitation and just kind of showing you that it is the wet season from South Alaska down through Southeast Alaska, Western BC, Washington, Oregon, into Northern California. Uh, this is our wet season here, folks. This goes at over 1,100 hours. And that, you know, that's pretty typical for this time of year. And you can actually even see that in the 46 day precipitation anomaly. It's not even usually what you would normally get in that period. You usually get a little bit more for some of the South Alaska coast down through Western BC. So, yeah, kind of interesting there. And if we take a look at something even more fantastic, fantasy land the european ensemble weeklies had 10 inches of snow for SeaTac on the control run here and some of the ensembles also show the potential i mean we're getting into december there is the quote potential for this but again just a fantasy forecast right now and something interesting you see there's a hundred 100 ensemble members over there and a lot of them don't have much snowfall but some of them do so maybe we'll be in store for chillier than normal december but again you know cross your fingers if you're a lowland snow lover or you know you know, try to wish this away if you don't want that lower elevation snowfall. Now, six to 10 day temperature outlook below normal across a lot of the West Coast. You can see the Pacific Northwest also above normal as we go through November 20th. Uh, check out the Patreon page if you like as well. And yeah, what else? Um, hope you guys are having a good day and I'll catch you in the next forecast.